Hello. So today we are going to discuss about what is IVF process or in vitro fertilization process and how we do the IVF process. So IVF process basically means making the embryos outside the body. So fertilization is the process of embryo making. In vitro means outside the body. So we take the eggs, take the sperms, mix them outside and make the embryo. That's the IVF process. IVF process is mainly now what you need to understand is that the same process of fertilization actually happens inside your body. But for some patients, for some couples, this process is not happening naturally. Might be due to some issues with the sperm or the egg, due to which we'll have to make the embryo or the have to make the fertilization process happen outside the body and then only we make the embryo and transfer it. How we do that particular process? For that we give injections for around 10 days for the lady so that more number of eggs can grow. Then we take the eggs out so say around 12th day of injection we'll be taking the eggs out. That day we'll be making the embryo that is we'll be doing the IVF process. After three to five days we'll get the embryos and then based on the number of embryo and the uterus findings then we will decide whether to put the embryo in the uterus or whether to freeze it. Because what has been seen is that in most of the cases, freezing of the embryo gives marginally better pregnancy rate than putting it back in the same month, especially when the hormone levels are high. So you can discuss with your doctor about all these issues because people do IVF in a different way. Now, there is a certain difference between IVF and ICSI process. So not everybody needs ICSI. Some would be benefiting more by IVF while some would be benefiting more by doing a ICSI process. So in ICSI process, what it means is we take an egg, we take a sperm in the needle and we inject that needle inside the egg and put the sperm directly inside the egg. In the IVF process, on the contrary, we take in a, say in a cup, we take around 1 million of sperm we put one egg into that and we allow the sperm to automatically swim and go till the egg and to go inside it to kickstart the embryo formation process. So talk to your doctor as to what process you would be using and why that particular process would be used for you. All the best, take care.